Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scottalicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today we are going to Kate Spade because what the shell? Join me for a shop with me trip to Kate Spade retail to look at all of the latest handbag collections featuring the What the Shell collection, the Lemon Drop collection, and Alexander Gerard X Kate Spade New York collection. Get those nuts away from my face! But before we hop into today's massive Kate Spade Shop With Me trip, if you guys love handbags, hauls, Kate Spade, luxury, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoy today's content, make sure you hit that like button, as it does help me know you enjoy today's video. And it helps with that ever-changing, ever-growing YouTube Al Go Rhythm I also keep this me my stink finger So we're gonna be looking at what the shell lemon drop and Alexander Gerard collections Lots to look at today in today's shop with me But first up we are gonna be looking at what the shell Kate Spade collection First up is the Seashell Micro Crossbody in What the Shell. Absolutely stunning. Quickly unzip her, and I actually really love the look, the feel of the leather, and just the pure craftsmanship that goes into these. $328 Canadian. Not a horrible price, actually. Like, I'm not gonna lie, that's not horrible. It's really cute, has a faux pearl for the zipper. Immaculate. And I like the leather. The leather wasn't super cheap feeling. It was a nice firm um, lambskin, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I'll try to put a little description disclaimer in the video while I'm talking if it's not lamb leather. But next up is the What the Shell 3D Shell Crossbody Bag. Absolutely stunning. I love how it has like this removable faux pearl chain. Or like a handbag strap. I absolutely love that. I love the fact that you could take that and add it to other bags. Because girl, that is just so cool. I would probably buy it just for the bag strap and the fact that the bag is just so cute. $498. So it is a little bit pricey, but to be fair, look at the gorgeous quilting. The pillow effect of the lambskinned bag is nice. Hopefully, I, I hope it's lambskin. A sizable bag, though it has a small opening, I would say. And the flap, because of the manner of the way it's quilted and everything, and the thickness of the leather, it's a little hard to open. So it's probably one of those bags where if you use it more, it'll be easier to open. Kind of like loosen it up a bit, you know? And it looks really sick with my outfit. Like, I wouldn't mind having that. And from what I was told, that was the last one in that store. Very beautiful. Oh, really? And then here we got the Ocean Scene Resin Frame Clutch. Adorable. Absolutely adorable. But, first thing I noticed, this thing is literally weighted like a damn brick. If you want, like, dumbbells to carry around as a handbag, this is the bag for you. If you want to work out while you're doing your little errands, this is the bag for you. Girl, it's too heavy, but I love the chain. 
that chain is sickening. See, I love all these cool one-off chain pieces that Kate Spade does for their bags because they're always really nice looking. But again, with this bag, it's just too heavy. Way, way too heavy. Like, when I lifted it up, I was like, did they weight it? Like, I thought they had a weight in it, but they don't. $598. What the shell? That is insane. That is really expensive. But it is, it is gorgeously done. So I can't be too mad at the price, but it's still expensive. But here we got the High Tide Striped Crochet Raffia Medium Tote. $478 Canadian plus tax. I did not like this bag. I absolutely do not like it. The material was giving me garbage bag vibes. Like, you know, black glad garbage bags. It was giving me like recycled garbage bags. Like that's what it was giving. The bag was just too flimsy, no structure. I feel like even half of the Kate Spade plaques that were sewn on were, like, sewn on, like, uh, they're not straight. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're kind of crooked, but it's whatever. They're fine, I guess. They're not for me. They're, they're just not for me. But here we got the What the Shell Nautilus. Not, 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 Nautilus? Nautilus? Not less, whatever. Shell, shoulder bag. Girl. Sickening. Absolutely sickening. I actually love this. This is so cute. I love patent leather, or Spazzolato, sorry. This is definitely Spazzolato. Love Spazzolato. Patent leather and Spazzolato always have a sweet spot for me. And this thing is just gorgeous. $458. Not bad. Not bad. You would think that would be a little bit more because of like the construction of the bag and everything, the craftsmanship, but it's not bad. I got some sandals, y'all. That's the first time I've worn sandals and I, th I think in two decades. I'm not lying. Two fucking decades. But girl, the bag looks sick. It looks sick. Kate Spade, New York, embossed on the front. And there's a pink version. They have, like, the strap, like, shoved into the bag, which I don't like. But whatever. It's still cute. Just needs a remove. It needs to be removable, in my opinion. Like, the strap needs to be removable. But it's not. So, points docked for that. And then moving on to what the shell... Seahorse bag charm for 118. I want this. Guys, I'm telling you right now, if I wasn't on like a strict no buy, like brand new items, I would be all over Kate Spade's plethora of amazing bag charms this summer. Like outlet, retail, they, they just keep making all these bangers. They are coming out with banger after banger. The outlet has, like, the watermelon slices. They got the crabs. Now, uh, retail has, like, these beautiful ocean collections. And then they got, like, these... Uh, girl, I can't. I just can't. But here's the What the Shell large straw tote bag. $558. Embellished with some really beautiful pieces, though. So, like, I'm not gonna lie... I, I would say it's probably more worth the price point than most of the other bags. It's gorgeous. And I really wish I could just snatch up all these key charms, all these bag charms. They're just adorable. This one here is $118. The What the Shell Coral Reef Bag Charm. This one isn't as cute, but it's still cute. And then the What the Shell little card case with the like, the nice little clam shell there. Really pretty. And the shell is like literally three pieces of leather to make like a 3D effect. $98. Not bad. Not horrible at all. Especially if you get it at a discount. 
Next up is this piece here. I could not find the name of this online. It is really sickening. I love the golden shells with the faux pearls over top of the straw. It is gorgeous. I really, really wish there was more bags like that. Because, like, girl, this smartphone crossbody deal is not cutting it for me. Not in the slightest. I hate these kind of bags. They're just too small. Like, what are you going to put in there? Your phone, that's it? Won't even hold my dignity. $218 USD, $258 Canadian. $258 Canadian. I, that's not bad. And it comes with a cute little, like, bag charm on the side. Really cute. Next up is the Morgan What the Shell little long zip wallet. Got some beautiful blue shell embossings. $258. Unzip this beautiful piece. Got some faux pearls on the front too. Beautiful, beautiful baby blue insides. $258. Zip it back up. And put it back. Next up, though, is the card case. Or the snap button wallet. Got the seahorse on the front. What the shell? Very cute. Sadly, I could not find the price for this one. I'll include it on the screen while I'm editing. My bad. <laughs> Nevertheless, it was cute. With my current seahorse coach coin purse, like for my keys I have, I feel like this collection would just look so cute with my jelly tabby. Like if I got the seahorse key charm, like bag charm, Oh, yes. And then next up is Lemon Drop. We're moving on to Lemon Drops. First up is the Lemon Drop Straw 3D Crossbody Tote. Very, very cute. Four hundred and seventy-eight dollars. Gotta love it. I love the shape. The shape is really fun. And I love how, like, the zipper is, like, a massive leaf. But because of how big the zipper is, there is some opening and closing issues. Especially with the crossbody strap pieces. And then here we got the Lemon Drop Crocheted Bag Charm. Beaded Crochet Key Fob. Very cute. Next up is the Lemon Drop Chain Coin Purse. And I almost dropped it. Butterfingers did not strike again because I caught it mid-air. I'm a ninja. Ninja Butterfingers. Pebble Leather is done in a way where it looks like it's like actual like lemon zest like the lemon peel i actually really like that that's some good attention to detail 228 dollars canadian 178 american kate spade new york and bust on the side and it has a beautiful bronzed type of removable chain strap adorable Next up is the Lemon Drop Wicker 3D Crossbody. A very stunning wicker style of bag, I'm not gonna lie. I do like this. I'm kind of torn between this one and the next one. On it, like, being my favorite type of thing. I like this one's, like, fun style. I love the top handle. A little hard to open because of the nature of the bag, but what do you do? Also has that lemon peel effect to the leather. 
$498 though. A little expensive, but it's cute. I like it. It's a cute collection. Been meaning to get this collection on film for a while, but I've been slacking a little bit on Kate Spade retail. <laughs> but here's my favorite. So it's I'm torn between this one and the last one being my favorite. I think this one would be um, the one that's my favorite. It kind of does look like a Ferris wheel, though. So one, like, okay, I'm going to dock half a point for that. But other than that, this is probably my favorite. I just love it. It's like a lemon slice, but it's a top handle bag. Wicker, braided, all of it. I like it. Okay, dang, guys, I like it. Very cute. And the leather on the sides felt really supple and nice, too. $4.98 on top of it. So, yeah, I'm going with this one. I'm going to go with this one. It's just different. You don't really see bags like this. Unless you're going to, like, cult Gaia type of thing. Very adorable. And I paired it nicely with the chain crossbody. Bam, girl. Looking zesty. Make some lemonade later. I love the combo. And then next up goes to some of the new ombre sequin pieces. This one's the Lulu Ombre Sequin East West Pouch. The Pouchette? Pochette. Pouchette, sorry. Very adorable. Not my kind of deal. Like, I've kind of grown past the whole sequins thing. I like some sequin bags. Like, yeah, really have to wow me. $258. I like it. I like the ombre effect done with the uh, sequins. I can't tell if the sequins are clear and then, like, the fabric underneath is the ombre effect. But either way, I like it. And it's done well. And then here we got the mini Sam Icon tote. $358 Canadian. I would say that's a little pricey. I, okay, these ones are a little expensive in my opinion. Could be cheaper. But then again, it, if the sequins are done well enough, it could increase the price of it, you know? Sometimes sequin bags are really cheap. Sometimes others are a little bit more expensive. And then this is the original Sam Icon Ombre Sequin Tote. Just the original. The small, if you will. $478. I love the Sam Icon. If I seen one pop up at the outlet store for like a really good deal, I would maybe have to cave. <laughs> I'm kidding. I've been I've been doing I've been doing all right. And then here we're gonna be looking at the Alexander Gerard X Kate Spade New York large canvas tote bags. These things are massive, and they are a collaboration. They're cute, I guess. Like they're really not. My, they're not for me. They are not for me, but they are cute, and I, I can appreciate them. I especially like how structured this cotton canvas tote bag is. You would think that it's not, but it's very structured, and I really like that. How will that hold up in the future? I don't know, but it's very gorgeous. $358 as well. Sun printed. Has the little Kate Spade x Alexander Gerard uh, sewn-in patch on the inside. Get a nice little look for it. Not bad. Not bad. Let's try on the green one. The green one is a very funky looking. Like, girl, look at that. That is trippy. That is some wacky stuff. But it's cute. I can appreciate it. Not for me. And then to close off the video... We got the final piece here, $138 as I smack the camera. 
This is the passport holder. For Alexandra Gerard, ex Kate Spade, New York. And 99 don't believe in you, but all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred, hundred people, hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred, 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 or a thousand, nine thousand, or nine nine hundred ninety nine. There can be a hundred people in the room. Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's massive three collection Kate Spade Shop With Me trip. My gosh. Lots and lots of cute stuff. I'm telling you, man. Kate Spade is just stepping up her pussy. And I'd love to see it. I love to see it. Quality's been good. Designs have been good. They've been fun. They've been fresh. They've been zesty. Lemon fresh, lemon fresh zest. <laughs> Please help me. Oh. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's massive Kate Spade retail shop with me trip, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. Hit that like button, share with your friends and family, comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's outfit of the day or lemon zesty, what the shelly, Alexander Girardi, Kate Spade shop with me trip. As well, you can always support me and the channel directly by sending me a very generous super thanks donation. And you can check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, and Discord notification squad. I love you all to the absolute moon and back. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! <sighs> I think it was good. I don't I'm done. I'm done. Oh, no. Show's <laughs> over. Show's <laughs> over. See you next Taco Tuesday, bitch.